subject matter of this film was chosen by our National Board of Selection. Dr. Frederick Patterson, President, Tuskegee Institute. Reverend Marshall Shepard, Recorder of Deeds, Philadelphia. William J. Trent, Jr., Executive Director, United Negro College Fund. Willard S. Townsend, International President, United Transport Service Employees. C.C. Spaulding, President, North Carolina Mutual Life Insurance Company. Claude A. Barnett, Director, Associated Negro Press. How do you do? Liggett and Myers Tobacco Company, makers of Chesterfields, fine cigarettes, present another film in the public interest. Our subject today is the Negro in entertainment. So we have come to Pittsburgh to talk with a man who knows the show business inside and out. I want you to meet Bill Nunn, managing editor of the Pittsburgh Courier. Thank you, Claude. I appreciate the flattering introduction, but I think an introduction is also to your charming wife, Etta Moten, who is so well remembered for her many performances in George Gershwin's Porgy and Bess, and the motion picture flying down to Rio, and for her many, many concert appearances. Maybe you will tell us about some of the artists in your particular field of entertainment a little later on, Etta. Oh, I'd be delighted to do so, Bill. You certainly have the history of entertainment right here on your walls. Who do you want to start with, Bill? Well, Claude, I'd like to start with that beloved personality, the father of the blues, W.C. Handy. You know, we had a banquet for him at the Waldorf Astoria in New York City a short while ago. W.C. was there himself and he played the St. Louis Blues. In those vaudeville days, Williams and Walker and the inimitable Florence Mills headed the parade of stars. That great quartet, the Mills Brothers. Dynamic Ella Fitzgerald. And the ever popular Ethel Waters from the Gallery of Favorites. Since my man and I together Now our youngest star, Sugar Child Robinson, 50 pounds of dynamite. Exciting Una Mae Carlisle, talented pianist and singer who composes her own material. Tell me, honey, just to make three. When in reality, seeing is believing and hearing is deceiving. No, it ain't like that. ABC, you follow me. It ain't like that, I say. No, it ain't like that. What you bet? It ain't like that. The famous Duke Ellington band leader, pianist, and composer. Louis Armstrong makes a film for Chesterfields. His shining trumpet has brought him fame in every medium of popular entertainment. The dancing feet of the beloved Bill Robinson now still, alas, forever. Another fabulous figure mourned by all, the late Fats Waller. Got my fingers crossed, not that I'm superstitious. I'm afraid it's too good to be true. Yaddy, 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 Got my fingers crossed, no wonder I'm suspicious. I'm too gay in skies, I'm much too blue. Blue, 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 blue. Don't want no trouble with old man trouble. That goes double, yeah, it's on account. Because of love, yeah! Got my fingers crossed. This really is so delicious. I'm afraid it's too good to be true. You know, I couldn't help noticing that many of these stars are Chesterfield smokers. Yes, many of them have been saying for years that Chesterfield is their cigarette. 
I see you're a Chesterfield smoker too, Bill. I sure am. I always make sure that I have plenty of them. You see, I buy them by the carton. No thanks. I carry my own. You know, Claude, we've only talked about the popular field of entertainment. I think we should have Etta tell us something about some of our stars in the concert field. Well, there are many I could talk about whose pictures I hear on your walls. For example, there's Marian Anderson, the contralto, Dorothy Mena, the soprano, the Pearl Primus, the dancer, and uh, Janet Collins. Incidentally, that reminds me, she was just signed, Janet Collins was, as the premier ballerina of the Metropolitan Opera Company. Todd Duncan's serious musicianship and mellow baritone voice have charmed audiences around the world. An outstanding choral group from Cleveland, Ohio, the King's Choir, conducted by John King. Camilla Williams, leading soprano of the New York City Opera Company. Winters, whose golden voice has stamped him as one of the world's leading baritones. What in the world could be so sweet as the thundering clatter of horses feet in the song of the open road? Let me leave. About tomorrow, why ever worry about tomorrow? For tomorrow's another day. Let me love and then ride away. Life is short, they say, and maybe for me. So let me be free. kind that have made our people so outstanding in the world of entertainment. You're quite right, Bill. And each of them has made life just a little bit better and a little bit happier for all of us everywhere. 
thanks, Etta Moten and Bill Nunn, for being with us today. And I want to thank the Liggett and Myers Tobacco Company for making this film possible. And the only way we can express our appreciation is by making Chesterfields our cigarettes.